Alright, how we doing folks? It's your boy Marlos. Kick it off here. Weekend challenges. Golden Eye Double O Agent. What can I say, man? This game is just fun. This game is, is just is it's been a blast playing through this game again. Alright, so we've got through Seven Eye, alright. Let's get over here. Pop one. This guy's looking all around like, hold up, where are those bullets coming from? Ugh! God, I love, man, he's this voice actor, man. We need some of this back in our lives. Can't shoot alarms, though. It's one of my biggest weaknesses in life, in general. I always put that down. They asked me in those job interviews, what's one of your biggest weaknesses? There's two biggest weaknesses in my life. Now, I'm going to open up a little bit to you guys. One of them is shooting alarm in GoldenEye. And the second one is pizza boxes. I tweeted this the other day. Pizza boxes, you know, like, when you get, like, a pizza of your order at Domino. If you get enough pizza, like, to go, whatever. Um... After I open the box, I can never close it the same way. Like, I never manage to... Like, they close it so perfectly. It's not a difficult thing to do. If I sit down, I'll be able to figure it out. But they do it so easily. Now, obviously, they've been working with it the whole lives. But I just suck at it. So, like, I can't do that for, like, to save my life. So, I normally just always, like, end up just punching it in. And there it goes. And sometimes it cuts the pizza and stuff. This is a dangerous situation. So, if you ever see me around with a pizza box... If it's closed and never been open, it's good. If it's been open, man, some dangerous stuff right there. But anyway, let's hop back into Goldeneye right here, popping these guys right here. This wasn't exactly the game plan to lure them all out here. Oh, hold up. You hear that beat? Boom. Ultimate head glitch right here are doors. I use doors so much in this game. It is no, it's no joke. It is the ultimate head glitch. They can't shoot you at all. You can shoot them. I get... Uh, I got the camera earlier through the door. I got that. those two guys through the door. Just clear out rooms without even going into them, man. That's how we do. Um, one thing I really like about the bunker. Now, at the time, I already spoke about this in one of my previous videos. I really understand the time progression. I, I, I saw it said like four years, but I didn't really pay attention to it. I was a little kid. I didn't really care. Uh, I like that random pole right there. Very interesting. I don't know what's going on back there. There's three dudes there. It's kind of shady. Um, but I like the, the fact that, you know, right there, I didn't understand either when I was a kid. Uh, cause I was, all I saw was like purple and red rock, and I'm like, I don't get this. What is these? What is this? Like, is this some space stuff? Like, I don't understand. Um, but now I get it. You know, this this progression, pull out the climb right there, you empty it all out. I wanted this, I wanted the KF7, but whatever. I have to go over there. Thank you, uh, fake armor off. Um, but this time progression, you know, when you come back into the bunker, and it happens in Seven Eye too, where like some of those rooms are empty, and then you go back, there's stuff in it. Um, this is a very similar drill. Uh, you go back over here and there's stuff uh, in it. And I found that so cool when I was a kid. I was like, oh, nice, yo, it's the same stage, but it's different. That's hot. Uh, it's very interesting. It's, it's uh, always been an effective tool throughout video games because um, it combines nostalgia, you know, the fact that you've been there already, that you're part of that, that you have a, an experience, a memory um, in that place with still uh, a feeling of newness. It kind of, it's like, it's like the world that like, actually exists, you know. Um, it's like, oh, I was there a few stages ago and it was bare, but now it's full. Like, these guys really worked into, A, hiring a whole new security crew because I demolished everybody, and B, they, like, progressed through this. So it's a very interesting dichotomy. Obviously, it's a lie. Obviously, this isn't real. You know, it's, I'm not crazy here. I understand it's a video game. Um, but it gives that illusion, and that's very interesting. And a lot of games do that very well, and a lot of my favorite parts of games are when I go back to a place um, that I've been to before and it's different. Um, I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head, maybe even like Assassin's Creed 3. Um, time passed through there and you get to evolve through West Connor um, and you get to see things differently through his age and stuff that happens even with the change of the seasons. Even someone as simple as changing seasons could really do that. Um, so I got my man Boris right here, the Nakas. Oh man, he's always hitting on Natalia, man, in that movie. He's a funny little guy. He's invincible. Good for him. Bring out the data thief here. This is a, I have a death count right here, a few kills, um, just because of here. I'm not sure if I had to do the data thief here. I don't know about the key analyzer either. I don't know if you have to do it here, if you can just do it anywhere. Drop it down in the comment below. It's always been one of my mysteries. I always do it here. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, it works, so I never really question it. It doesn't really matter where you do it, I suppose, but I just like to know. Uh, so I managed to get here, then we hide behind my head glitch, man. And I step out, and it's a Superman right here. Look at that. Bullets, man. These guys, with, between the shades, man, it's the shades, dude, that does it, man. They don't even have body armor on. They just got those shades that just do so much damage. Ah, uh, I'm looking down over there. You gotta be careful here, man. Uh, there's like a glitch right there where they can still shoot you through the wall of that door. Uh, we're gonna see it here in a couple seconds, I think. We're gonna see like a bullet right there. Boom, bullet flew right out there. There should be no reason. So this has always been a hard part for me to just get out of here. 
Managed to get one. This boy's trying to come. Boom, two. And I'm like, oh, I'm in the clear. And then, nope. This guy right here. Look at that. I was perfect until I ran into this goon. I decided, well, I guess the boy guy got one shot off on me. And I see two of them. I'm like, nah, no chance. Just gonna put a, put a, put a couple bullets in him, distract him. And we are out. Deuces. Try to catch me outside, bro. I made a clean escape. But I love how in the video afterwards, there's nobody there. Beautiful. All right, so next week, where are we going to? We're going to, we're going to launch next week. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, man. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Going to launch next week. Really enjoy this. Having a blast playing some GoldenEye, man. You still got to go ahead and play too, man. It's a great game. Missed that objective by 50 seconds. Oh, well.